computation of areas. Learning objectives. At the end of this topic, you will be able to compute the areas along irregular boundaries, compute the areas along regular boundaries, solve problems based on calculation of areas. Outcomes. By the end of this topic, you will be able to understand the areas along irregular boundaries and regular boundaries, evaluate problems based on calculation of areas. Let us see the objectives of land surveying. To determine the area of the tract surveyed, to determine the quantities of earthwork, the units of measurement of area in English units are square feet or acres, while in metric units, the units are square meters or hectares. Let us see the general methods of finding areas. The following are the general methods of calculating areas. 1. By computations based directly on field measurements. These include a. By dividing the area into a number of triangles. b. By offsets to baseline. c. By latitudes and departures. 1. By double meridian distance. 2. By double parallel distance. d. By coordinates. 2. By computation based on measurements scaled from a map. 3. By mechanical method, usually by means of a planimeter. Let us see the computation of areas by subdivision into triangles. In this method, the area is divided into a number of triangles and the area of each triangle is calculated. The total area of the tract will be equal to the sum of areas of individual triangles. Figure 4.1 shows an area divided into several triangles. For field work, a transit may be set up at O and the lengths and directions of each of the lines OA, OB, etc. may be measured. The area of each triangle can be computed. In addition, the sides AB, BC, etc. can also be measured and a check may be applied by calculating the area from the three known sides of a triangle. Thus, if two sides and one included angle of a triangle is measured, the area of the triangle is given by When the lengths of the three sides of a triangle are measured, its area is computed by the equation where S is half perimeter. The method is suitable only for work of small nature where the determination of the closing error of the figure is not important and hence the computation of latitudes and departure is unnecessary. The accuracy in such cases may be determined by measuring the diagonal in the field and comparing its length to the computed length. Here we will learn about computing of areas from offsets to a baseline. The areas from offsets to a baseline can be computed using two methods. Offsets at regular intervals, offsets at irregular intervals. In this section, we will discuss about offsets at regular intervals. Later, we will discuss offsets at irregular intervals. Let us see the computation of areas from offsets to a baseline. This method is suitable for long, narrow strips of land. The offsets are measured from the boundary to the baseline or a survey line at regular intervals. The method can also be applied to a plotted plan from which the offsets to a line can be scaled off. The area may be calculated by the following rules. 1. Mid-ordinate rule. 2. Average ordinate rule. 3. Trapezoidal rule. 4. Simpson's one-third rule. Let us see the mid-ordinate rule for calculating areas. The method is used with the assumption that the boundaries between the extremities of the ordinates or offsets are straight lines. The baseline is divided into a number of divisions and the ordinates are measured at the midpoints of each division, as illustrated in figure 4.2. The area is calculated by the formula area equal to delta equal to average ordinate into length of base, where O1, O2 and so on equal to the ordinates at the midpoints of each division. Summation of O equal to sum of mid-ordinates N equal to number of divisions. L equal to length of baseline ND. D equal to distance of each division. Now, let us see the average ordinate rule. This rule also assumes that the boundaries between the extremities of the ordinates are straight lines. 
The offsets are measured to each of the points of the division of the baseline. The area is given by delta equal to average ordinate into length of base, where O not equal to ordinate at one end of the base, O n equal to ordinate at the other end of the base divided into n equal divisions, O1 O2 equal to ordinates at the end of each division. Let us see the trapezoidal rule. This rule is based on the assumption that the figures are trapezoids. The rule is more accurate than the previous two rules which are approximate versions of the trapezoidal rule. Referring to the figure 4.3, the area of the first trapezoid is given by Similarly, the area of the second trapezoid is given by Area of the last trapezoid, nth, is given by To calculate the area of the segment of the curve, we will utilize the property of the parabola that area of a segment, such as DFC, is equal to two-thirds the area of the enclosing parallelogram, such as CDEG. Hence, the total area of the figure is given by Equation gives the trapezoidal rule, which may be expressed as below. Add the average of the end offsets to the sum of the intermediate offsets. Multiply the total sum, thus obtained, by the common distance between the ordinates to get the required area. Simpson's one-third rule. This rule assumes that the short lengths of boundary between the ordinates are parabolic arcs. This method is more useful when the boundary line departs considerably from the straight line. Thus, in figure 4.4, the area between the line AB and the curve DFC may be considered to be equal to the area of the trapezoid ABCD plus the area of the segment between the parabolic arc DFC and the corresponding chord DC. Let O0, O1 and O2 be equal to any three consecutive ordinates taken at regular interval of D through F. Draw a line EG parallel to the chord DG to cut the ordinates in area of trapezoid ABCD is, thus, area of segment is, adding 6 and 7, we get the required area of first two intervals. Similarly, the area of the next two intervals, delta 3, 4, is given by Area of the last two intervals, delta n minus 1, comma delta, is given by Adding all these to get the total area delta, we get Simpson's one-third rule may be stated as follows. The area is equal to the sum of the two end ordinates plus 4 times the sum of the even intermediate ordinates, plus twice the sum of the odd intermediate ordinates, the whole multiplied by one-third the common interval between them. Let us see the computation of areas by irregular boundaries. Let us see the first method. In this method, the area of each trapezoid is calculated separately and then added together to calculate the total area. That's from the figure. Now let us see the second method. By the method of coordinates, let x1, y1, x2, y2, x3, y3, and x4, y4 be the coordinates of the stations A, B, C, and D, respectively, of a traverse ABCD. If A is the total area of the traverse, we have A equal to area small a capital A capital B small b plus area small b capital B capital C small c minus area small c capital C capital D small d minus area small d capital D capital A small a. That's equal to 1 by 2 of y1 minus y2 
into x1 plus x2 plus y2 minus y3 into x2 plus x3 minus y4 minus y3 into x4 plus x3 minus y1 minus y4 into x1 plus x4 equal to 1 by 2 of y1 into x2 minus x4 plus y2 into x3 minus x1 plus y3 into x4 minus x2 plus y4 into x1 minus x3. In general, if we have n stations, we get a is equal to 1 by 2 of y1 of x2 plus xn plus y2 of x3 minus x1 plus y3 of x4 minus x2 plus so on till plus yn of x1 minus xn minus 1. Let us see some solved problems based on concepts learned till now. The following perpendicular offsets were taken at 10 meter intervals from a survey line to an irregular boundary line. Calculate the area enclosed between the survey line, the irregular boundary line and the first and last offsets by the application of A. Average ordinate rule B. Trapezoidal rule and C. Simpson's rule The following perpendicular offsets were taken from a chain line to an irregular boundary. Calculate the area between the chain line, the boundary and the end offsets. Summary. Let's summarize the topic. In areas computed by subdivision of triangles, the area is divided into a number of triangles and the area of each triangle is calculated. When the lengths of the three sides of a triangle are measured, its area is computed by the equation. The formula for area according to average ordinate rule is given by The formula for area according to trapezoidal rule is given by The formula for area according to Simpson's rule is given by The formula for area according to offsets at regular intervals is given by